Hi YouTube! Um, it's Cal. It's been a really, really, really long time, and I'm really sorry for that, but I got kind of busy at the end of July. Hmm, go figure. I started testosterone on July 16th, which I may or may not have a video up about, but I did start testosterone on July 16th, and then I moved. And it took me a good two, three weeks to unpack. I'm all unpacked now. My room is messy, but I'm packed, which is good. And then after that, I had to go do my peer mentoring thing where I'm basically a sort of, well, peer mentor for first-year students coming into Drake University. And so I get to um, support students. They get to have the training. But, uh, no, they love me, so it works out well. Um, at least I hope they love me, otherwise I'm deluding myself with something. I don't want to go into that. Anyway, um, so it's been busy, and then after that came school, and <laughs> Rainbow Union, and since I'm the president this year, I got even more busy, and haven't had a life. This, not this past week, but the week before, it was coming out week, and so, got that done. It went really well. We made a crap ton of money at our drag show, which I put together. So yeah, that was good. Um, yeah, I have a new haircut. It's a lot shorter. I'm going to turn my head as much as I can. See hair? Yeah, it's um, it's a lot shorter now. It's all boyish and cute. Um, I had a woman come to me in a high V parking lot and tell me my haircut was gorgeous and cute and... She was old enough to be my mom, which really confused me, but, uh, yeah. Women hit on me, it's just women, I'm not... They're old enough to be my mom, apparently. So anyway, um, I saw my buddy Danae had made a, uh, video on YouTube after saying for seven months she wasn't, she was gonna do it, gonna do it, and then she finally did, so I felt really guilty about not doing one in a couple months, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do one it's nearing Halloween. Just had midterms um, on fall break right now, so this video's going to be so long. Other than that, uh, things are going good, especially with the testosterone. I'm feeling a lot more manly and, uh, and yeah, me manly. I know, it's going to be great, isn't it? Me manly. I don't think I can pull it off. I think I'm too effeminate, whatever that means to be manly, which is fine. I'm just cute and adorable and non-threatening and drag queens love me. Um, that could be because I feed them. And I go out to their cars and carry their stuff in. Yeah. Anyway, um, so Drake's been busy. I have, you know what, what's sad is Nothing has happened in my life lately that's of interest. It's just that I've been busy with a lot of lame stuff, like class. I'd like to have college without class. I think that that'd be a good college to go to, just to have extracurricular activities. I mean, I, hey, I'd be present remaining for nothing. I mean, I wouldn't want to pay $3,000 a year, or even $15,000 a year, depending on whether you live on or off campus, to, you know, do so. I'd rather be paid. But... I'd, I'd take $15,000 a year. That's fine with me. It means I could, you know, learn as a drag show once in a while and do other fun things. But uh, other than that, you know, I haven't really... I got sick. I had a bad sinus infection, and that went away. I only missed the day of class. It's depressing. You know, it used to be, you get sick, you miss, like, a couple days of school, and then you go back, and everyone's like, oh my god, you were sick. And no. You go, to, you go to college, you have to, like, send in emails to your parents. You're, like, dying. You can't breathe out of your nose, you know? And you have to send them an email. Dear Professor, da 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 I am sick. I am very sick. I cannot breathe right now. Or anything. So sad. Yeah, so get over it if I'm not in class, you know? You. So, yeah, it's been busy. But fun. I've had a lot of good times so far. Living in my new room. I guess you guys might want to see my room, huh? Um, so, you're on my desk, and behind me is my wall, 
And also back there are my two bookcases. Um, I had one, but one wasn't enough, and so I had to have two. And now I have two, and that's plenty of room. So you guys can see my bookshelves. Um, you'll notice that one of them is mostly full of books. There's a really small shelf there that I just put like binders and stuff on. And the bottom of it is full. And then over there is just, um, well, my testosterone is in that white bag there. The green, there's a green label on it that says Calvin's Man Juice Don't Touch. It's because it had to be out in the living room for a while because it was really hot in my room and it's supposed to be at room temperature, so I had to store it near the air conditioner. True story. And then there's more of my books. Those are mostly my my school books that I had to have for classes past that I wasn't going to make enough money on, so I bothered, didn't really bother turning, returning them. Um, let's see, what else did I share? Oh, here's my Dark Knight poster. All right, I'm going to tilt you up. There we go. Whoop. There's my Dark Knight poster. It's pretty and cute. Oh, yeah, you also saw my window. Isn't that a pretty window? I have two of them on that side. Then I have one near my bed. And that right there is my fan and my radiator. It's a little warm right now, and that's because people upstairs are using it, so I get to put my feet on it and kind of warm up. Um, and then here's my desk. This is awkward. So anyway, desk is here. You're kind of caught up in the wires here, people. And then here's more wall and poster. And you're not seeing like half of anything. Turning laptop. This is gonna get messy. That's my um, dresser. There's my bed. There's my other window. There's a bookcase. There's a closet door. That middle door there on the end, but not facing you, is my bedroom door. And then there's another closet door. And my hamper's in front of it because it doesn't stay shut. So congratulations, I have to tilt you back up. You just saw my entire room. It's very big. Very big. I like it. I got the biggest room. Well, it's not really a secret. I live with people who know I do. Yeah. Anything else that's happening in the summer? Um, since I moved into my, the, my apartment, I've been baking because I can. Because I have stuff to bake with. Because even in the house I was living in this summer, they didn't have, like, cookie sheets, or cupcake pans, or cake pans, or mixing bowls, which to me is a horror, because my mom loves to bake, and so it's all there. I mean, at home I never bake, because she does, and I fear of being inadequate. Yeah. <laughs> the tranny boys are afraid of being inadequate. Okay, there's a sexual innuendo in there somewhere, but we're not going to talk about that. And so I've been baking, and I bake a lot when I have free time, which is never. But uh, I make free time because it's really de-stressing. So my first-year students have learned that if I'm stressed, I bake. So they ask me all the time if I'm stressed enough to bake cookies for them. Yeah, I'm getting used for my baking skills. But I'm cute, and they're good, so that means something. Um, yep. Yeah. That's it. Oh, roommate's home. So, I'm gonna make this stuck. I have no idea how long this video is. I think it's gonna be forever. Alright, bye guys.